Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. <laughs> so, you know, I um, I was hanging out with my son and, and he decided to go um, play with his, like, his antique coins and whatnot. And um, so I decided to do well, another cancer reading because I love my cancers. <laughs> I can't seem to stay away from you guys, but I'm the most comfortable with you, so... Anyway, I figured I would do like a next 48 to get you through the weekend, okay? Um, this reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with all of you, okay? If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. It just means that I didn't pick up on your energy tonight with this reading, okay? I'd also like to thank all of you guys for all your support, your likes, subscribes, your comments, your shares, your donations, your everything, your wonderful. Um, I can't even tell you how much it means to me and I, I really love you all. Thank you. Um, this channel is for adults only too, by the way. Okay. All right. So let's get started cancer I'm I'm tired but I just want to squeeze one more in for you man just one more <laughs> I did a personal read earlier tonight and it wiped me out <sighs> so anyway um, yeah the overall energy is that something here has died okay and just as it dies and just as that last sword is slammed through the last bit of bones here somebody you know decides who it is that they want to be with okay this person was in the crossroads energy um it trying to decide between two now one is literally bolted to a wall they know for sure this passion's not coming with them but this one is this is the one that they want. They just haven't really made any kind of advancement towards it yet. You can tell I'm tired. I'm just like, blah, blah, blah. yeah, I'm totally drained from that last personal read. Oh my God. Oh, oh boy. Anyway, um, yeah, so they've decided and they feel like with this decision, they can pretty much go anywhere. They kind of hold the world in their hands here with this passion okay they feel more fulfilled with this one you know what I'm saying you know what I mean baby alright yeah but something here has come to an end or you could be dealing with the Scorpio okay um with the wheel here the wheel is now turning and I think both you and your partner are feeling it the, the new cycle has to start and Cancer, I feel like you haven't had any problems starting the new cycle. I think most of you have already jumped into a new cycle, okay? At least that's what I've been seeing in your readings for the last couple of months. But there is somebody here who needed to make a decision and needing to make a decision. This is um, a stalemate too. You guys aren't speaking. You haven't been for quite some time. Probably. Could be different for everyone. Um, but I'm feeling like, one, there's something about the next full moon. I don't know when it is or what, what it is. The last full moon was pretty intense too, but somebody needs to, to take this blindfold off, grab just one of these swords and cut something out, okay? Someone needs to make a decision and move on this if that's where their passion is. They know where their passion is, you know? But yeah, the wheel is turning, wheel of fortune. Cancer, I feel like the wheel is turning in your favor here because we've got a lot of great cards now, okay? Um, first of all, I feel like, I really do feel like you're in the public eye somehow and people are really digging you. That's, that's first of all. But also, I could see this as somebody coming in and wanting to have a victory, okay? With a Cancer right here you are boom but also I feel like things are not as they appear to be I usually don't say that about this card either you guys know me right I'd usually say you know this is the cancer card and things may be hidden or the light hasn't been shined on things yet right but in this case you know hmm. Let me get a clarifier on it. 
Yeah, I just feel like this has something to do with this twin flame. You could be in a twin flame soulmate connection. If not, it's just like a really, really super duper powerful connection. Like the most powerful connection ever. Okay. But yeah. Oops, wrong way. It is I it is late and I am tired and drained, but I just wanted to get one more in for you guys. Clarify the lovers and the moon for me, please. For cancer, yeah. I feel like somebody has something to cut out. Someone, someone's coming in fast to speak their truth, I feel like. I feel like they want to have a victory in this. Yeah. I feel, I feel like things are about to change here, too. I feel like things are not as they seem to be. That there's some kind of illusion here around this lover situation. And somebody's coming in to clarify something, could be coming in to cut something out, definitely speak a truth. They're coming in really fast. Um, you know, this is going to, this it's they're going to come in so fast and they, they could bring in a storm with them too. And I'm not reading reversals tonight, guys, by the way. All right, so yeah, I feel like, I feel like this person is in a commitment or possibly in a commitment. Someone is here and they've waited a long time. They've waited a long time to have a new beginning and a, com and a perfect commitment or to be abundant. Oh, I'm having such a hard time reading cards tonight. Yeah, this person's committed. They're in a commitment with the king with the queen of pentacles, but they may want to um, get out of that commitment because she kind of came out in reverse, but I'm not taking reversals, but it's it's a hint to me. I feel like this person's been waiting a long time to have a new beginning. Okay, they've been waiting a long time to have a new beginning. And I think that they're holding on to you, Cancer. There's a person here holding on to you. They're very guarded, but they have that new beginning on their mind. Okay, but they're holding. They're holding on. I feel like um, they're being very nostalgic, thinking about like having memories of you, very fond memories, loving when you guys were together, and they may have offered you a cup of love before in the in the past, and maybe you guys already tried to have a brand new beginning. Something apparently went wrong here. Um, they're in a commitment, and and they're just having loving feelings and thoughts about you cancer i'm seeing two cups here too this one being like the real deal um a brand new cup of a brand new beginning in love but with these both of these standing out to me i'm feeling like this is a soulmate connection somebody you've known for a very long time and somebody who can't let you go they feel at home with you you nurture them you you gave them a kind of love that you know they can't forget i guess um but i feel like this person's in a commitment and they've been waiting for like i don't know what are they waiting for though this person has other options but i feel like I feel like they always went for the ones that were the most abundant, but Cancer, they didn't realize that you, the person that they tried to cover up, okay, was the person who brought in all of the abundance, or at least most of the abundant, more abundant than any others, any other options out here. So yeah, I feel like they just can't forget about you and they almost like compare you to anyone else that may come may come into the picture you know what i mean like uh yeah you're great and all but you're not my cancer you know what i mean this person isn't talking either 
they're 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 probably not speaking to anybody it looks like they're kind of bummed out about this but yeah i feel like they're getting very tired of waiting look at how he's leaning on this hoe or whatever it is this shovel thinking he should maybe pick up this one pentacle that fell onto the ground here and uh, have a new beginning but you guys aren't talking you're in a stalemate but yeah, there's, this person definitely wants a brand new beginning with you, wants um, a brand new beginning in love, um, possibly wants to bring you a gift, a commitment, um, but this is having a brand new abundant beginning, okay? So we've got, this person wants a new beginning with you, they know who they want. Isn't this the second card like this? Isn't this the second two of wands that we've seen? Where's the other one? There were, there were two of these. Okay, anyway, yeah, they had a decision to make, but they know who their passion lies with. All right? Um, very confusing readings tonight. I don't know why I'm getting such weird, conflicting energies off of, like, everything. Yeah, see, they want this new beginning and in love and all this abundance and love and new beginnings and it's great. And then a tower moment. You see, this is what I'm talking about here. Why is this person having a tower moment? <laughs> what the F, people? This has been happening all night. And it's like, it seems to be going great then, boom. A tower moment or the death card or you know and then it goes back to being great then boom and it's like what the heck is going on clarify the tower <laughs> it's just weird I'm so confused all right <laughs> I'm really freaking confused by this Thank you. And now we're back to the Wheel of Fortune. The tower had to come down for somebody. This person, I believe, is committed already. All right, this person is committed already. They had to choose between two, you and the person they're committed to. All right, I feel like the person they're committed to is now going to be like shackled to a wall. And they know who they're passionate about. But this person is just like sitting here and sitting here and sitting here and not really advancing because they know in order to make this decision, the tower needs to come down for someone. And this person looks off into the distance as if they're thinking, okay, which person do I need to freaking destroy here in this then? Do you know what I mean? I think this is a person that really doesn't want to hurt anybody and they know that they're going to have a very hard time with the, you know, in making this choice, they're bringing down some kind of foundation that they may have thought they built well, but it's actually a feeble foundation. If this person does not move on this decision and stays stagnant, when this hangs in the balance, the divine will bring down the tower for them, okay? And that's kind of now, okay, now I'm getting back into it, sorry. Ooh, I, I guess I'm just drained. Um, yeah, I really feel like this person is just being stagnant, stagnant, okay? This thing is coming to an end, and honestly, look at what the divine is trying to offer, you know, I feel like this is a new beginning with you, Cancer, but this could be for you. This is your next 48. I don't know why this is someone else's story, but I feel like you you are the cup of love, and I feel like you are the ace of pentacles. I feel like you are the new beginning. I feel like you are the new beginning in the holy grail cup of love because I feel like you are their choice. It's just that they haven't they haven't moved forward on it at all. They've just been sitting here. And the divine is like, okay, fine then. You know what? We're bringing down your tower. We're going to shake up your booty here. And we're going to change your life. Now, you, now you're going to be forced. You're going to be forced to start over. You're going to be forced to start over. Because once the tower comes down, that's like everything kaput. Right? 
kaput. And you have to start, you know, the wheel turns then. Then you get to enter into a new cycle, okay? But this is kind of like, I see it as a completion, but one that's being forced by the divine. The divine is setting it off, all right? Because this person just sat here. And when you sit here with trying to hold on to the paths of two different people, that's not fair. And the divine is like, no, dude, we need to keep it, we need to get it rocking and rolling here. We need to keep it moving. Keep it moving, keep it moving. So I feel like a tower is going to be happening for your person, Cancer, because I think the divine is just kind of getting tired of it. Honestly, they're like, you know what, we're not waiting for you anymore. Here we go. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, here, here we go. Wheels turning, buddy. Hold on. Yeah. We're getting blown out a window, though. All right. What else can you show me for Cancer for the next 48? Sorry, I am just so drained tonight, Cancer. Holy cows. I don't even know what, why I'm being led to do another reading tonight because I, I am really drained, but... Maybe it was just my way of loosening up because the divine knows I love you and I have so much fun. Yeah, I feel like this person wants a reunitement with you. But look at what they're going through, Cancer. This is your person in the next 48 hours. They can't sleep at night. One, I have to mention that no one would be able to sleep with this fugly bedspread, okay? No one. But the reason why it's so ugly is because they've got some ugly patterns about their own behavior um, and probably relationship patterns that they have to take a good hard look at. Um, but on top of that, all of these painful thoughts of what's happened with you guys in the past and what it is that they're missing. For each one of these cups, Cancer, is a painful thought that they miss that thing about you. Okay? For each one of these cups, these things that they remember, all those good memories, that pains them each time they think about it. And they, they can't sleep at night. If they are, they're having nightmares. This person is crying with their head in their hands. Okay? Because they just, they just want to be around you again. They just want to be around you. You know? Meanwhile, that horrible song, you know, Lonely, the guy who yodels it, I don't, I don't, why, it's like yodeling. Is it Justin Bieber? Or? Okay, yeah, look at, oh my gosh, this person is hurting cancer. Hurting. Hurting, crying, painful ending right on top of this wanting this with you a reunitement coming together get togethers party celebrations building a solid foundation boobity boobity blah because they can't stop remembering you and how wonderful you were wow this person's hurt bad yeah they're crying they're crying because they know that this was a gift from the divine. This was the real deal. This was the true love. This was the gift from the divine. That's the brand new beginning that they want. That's the shiznit. And they want it. Right? I'm goofy when I'm tired. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, please don't, please don't like unsubscribe or anything. I'm just tired, man. All right. <laughs> I just wanted to spend some time with my cancers before I go to bed. Because you guys make me smile and laugh, you know. 
All right, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you. This is too many, though, Divine, sorry. Yeah, this person's under judgment. This whole situation's under judgment, and they know it. They can feel it. The ghosts from this person's past are coming back to haunt them. They're all right here. All those thoughts that... Th these are painful thoughts. And this person is crying like, oh my gosh, what have I done? Okay. Well, they have a lot to answer for here. And they can't really hide anything anymore either. Um, I think truths are going to start coming out now. And you know what though? Once the truths come out and they start showing their feelings and they start facing the consequences of their own actions and whatever it is for them, they're going to be freed from feeling like this. Okay? They're going to be freed from that, but the div they have some work to do with the divine right now. Your person has some work to do with the divine. They're being called out to bear all, basically. Bear all, buddy. And that either they're walk walking away from something or you are cancer, but somebody here is walking away. Um, clarify this Eight of Cups for me, please, for Cancer for the next 48. Cancer for the next 48, because I love my Cancers. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so tired. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Um, yeah, I feel like they're walking away. I feel like... They're in a lot of pain. They're totally stressed out. They don't know how to get you back. And they, they really don't know how to get you to come together with them. Okay? It's not about getting you back. It's about getting you to come together with them. And they can't stop thinking about this. They don't know how to write this. Um, they're, all their secrets are coming out. I mean, they seriously, they can't hide it anymore. They can't hide any of this stuff anymore. They're being forced to take a good look at it. And, and it's extremely painful for this person. But the thing is, is they don't know how to fix it. Because there's, they really, really did a number on you, Cancer. Like, this person really, really effed up and but good. This is the most selfish act you can do to somebody. I mean, they could have publicly humiliated you. They could have stabbed you, stabbed you in the back, um, left you to bleed out, abandoned you, and laughed about you afterwards behind your back even. And only because they could. This is somebody who smiles about your pain. You know? And they don't know how to fix that now. They totally realize they totally realize they freaking spat on a divine gift that was real love. I they, Really, this person is in a lot of pain over this, man. They just don't know how to fix it, so they're thinking about just walking away. Even though every one of these cups could have love in it, I think there's just no getting past the, the, the shit that they pulled with you in the past. There's no getting past the past. But they're also not making a move on this. They sort of screwed themselves over when they sat on a decision. You know what I mean? In stalemate. But now they want that new beginning. Yeah, the situ and God is like, wait, what am wait, wait a minute, what? You want the gift now. You're thinking about it now? You're remembering this person now? What happened then? What happened then? How was my gift worth anything to you then? Yeah. Yeah. They're getting that info from the divine in at night when they're trying to sleep. Huh. <laughs> All right, what else can you show me for the next 48? That, like, nothing in here at all about you, Cancer. You're, oh, here you are. Yeah, you're like, I'm Audi. This is Cancer, you and your chariot. Fast forward movement. 
right? This is you riding out and just uh, the, the reason why I'm saying this is you riding out is because you can't really pair the chariot with the knight of pentacles <laughs> because this is the slowest moving knight in the deck and this is the fastest card in the deck. So I feel like this is you cancer in your chariot fast forward movement out of here okay and just as you're going that's when they decide to get a, try to make you some kind of offer of stability for this for all of this they're trying to they really want to come towards you you could be dealing with an earth sign they really want to come towards you but this this horse isn't even moving they're very reluctant because of the pain, because of the memories, because they know what they did to that special person that can't be replaced. Okay. So they're reluctant and moving slow, but you're moving too fast. You're moving too fast for them. But you're moving very quickly out of here, out of here. Yeah, there you are, Queen of Cups. Adoring your own cup having it like under lock and key here in this like fortress of a of a goblet <laughs> saying you are the most precious love of, of all no other love is like you you're so pretty yeah basically you're adoring your own love because you know your worth cancer you know your worth i'm always like this when i'm tired um but yeah there you are adoring yourself yeah cutting something out because you have clarity and leaving someone this person here to ha be in sadness sorrow bereavement regret and remorse suffering a loss of their two of cups the same two of cups that are right here that he wants to share that he wants to share with this person from his past and that would be you cancer this all you know honestly this person's energy is so strong i think they take over your reading every time cancer because you're really not not into them right now you're into you right now you're into feeding yourself you're into knowing what you're worth and i think you're building something new um you've gotten clarity and I think you've cut this person out and now they can't freaking take it they can't take it cancer they can't take it it almost brings a tear to my eye because I can kind of feel it and it's just oh, all right what words of advice do you have for cancer for the next 48? Any words of advice or possible outcome? Words of advice or possible outcome for my cancers? I'm sorry, I'm so goofy. Um, honestly, I don't know what led me to do a reading. I just wanted to. I guess I should have slept for a few hours before I did it, though, but okay all right this is about a his and hers situation here this person may feel like you are just their match you know even though okay yeah these coats don't match but there's a method to my madness just don't try to jump into my head okay because it will drive you batty but yeah this is a his and hers kind of situation here I think communication is coming in but they're scared they don't know which direction to take. They're scared. Um, you're bored. They may be upset with their own decisions, feeling like an ass, having the light shed on a great many things, including their lack of effort. Um, all of this I'm getting while I'm shuffling, guys, okay? So just pay attention to what I'm saying because I'm reading the cards as I see them fly by yeah somebody needs to cut out something toxic and speak the truth they're feeling very burdened um, needing to cut something out again yeah children could be involved in this and jail time perhaps for someone Something's there's trying to hide something underneath the rug and they're being very burdened by that fact 
brushing something under the rug, hiding something, they're very burdened. This person's very burdened by what they're hiding. What are they hiding? Crap, I want to know now. <laughs> what are they hiding? It's late. I don't care. Let's find out. What are they hiding? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, cancer. That person will read earlier. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. It was so draining. <sighs> yeah, but I, I cleared my energy. You know, now I'm feeling pretty cool. All right. Let's see. Anything else for cancer? I think even my spirit guides are getting tired. They're like, listen, honey. <laughs> Please just stop for the night, please. <laughs> My spirit guides are like passing out someplace. All right, what can you show me? What? Just give me a couple more cards for cancer because now I'm just sitting here babbling. <laughs> I think we all need rest here, cancer. Couple more cards, please, divine, and then I'll, then I'll go to bed. Thank you. Yeah, okay, yeah, somebody's feeling like an ass here. That's this person that feels a lot of regret and sadness and heartbreak and can't sleep at night and pain. And But there are children involved here, and I feel like this person also may be fairly protective of these children. What's going on with the kids? Yeah, fairly protective of the kids. I feel like this person is protecting the children and the divine might be helping them do that. The divine may be helping this person. I don't know how, but there's some kind of divine intervention going on here. Um, because of the children, not because of this person. Of You know, of course the, the divine is with them too, don't get me wrong, but um, they're helping the sheep. The divine is with the sheep. The divine is with the children. So this issue could even be on delay because your person may need to be where they are just to protect these kids. That's what I'm getting. Okay, what else can you show me? I feel like there's going to be a jail sentence here coming up for this person. You know, honestly, looking at all these swords, yeah, I can see jail. The divine is protecting these children, so what's going on with the kids? What's going on with the kids? I get an empty couch here, someone being alone in a toxic situation, poison maybe even, somebody having to move, poisonous apple. A possible abuse, needing to cut something out. Someone not knowing what direction to take because they're scared to cut something out. Um, scared. Chicken. I just keep seeing the abuse card. And I saw it once again. That's the third time. This person may seek the help from a friend. There's a rat involved here. I see the rat like every other time in the rug. Something's, something's trying to be hidden here between a rat, a snake, your person, and children. And food items. What's the deal with the food items these days? What is going on? Sorry, just give me a minute, guys. What's going on with that? The surprise and the ice cream cone. Clarify that. I mean, I wonder if somebody's being surprised because somebody's trying to kind of 
be sweet to them now to cover something up? Doing their homework, wanting to walk, not knowing if they want to walk or fix a situation with a, with a soulmate. But somebody's trying to be really super sweet and I think it's surprising someone here. Maybe they don't get a lot of that. Or something's going on with the food here, guys. I've been seeing a lot of toxic apples and the ice cream cones and... Something's going on with food items, man. Somebody needs to watch what they're eating out there. Either cancer, it's either you or this person. I have a feeling it's your person. To be honest with you, I think there's somewhere and somebody keeps putting something in their food or sprinkling something on their food. Yeah, more food here, I'm telling you. <sighs> yeah. All right, well, listen, guys, I got to stop. I'm seriously, my head is, like, spinning right now. Um, so, yeah, I hope that, you know, resonated with somebody. This is the next 48 hours. Um, I think it has more to do with your person than it does for you, but um, take it however it resonates and reverse the roles however you want, Cancer. Because it's like 1 a.m. and I don't mind, okay? <laughs> but whoo, okay, so anyway, I hope this helps you for the weekend. I will see you guys at the end of the weekend or like Monday, all right? I love you, Cancers, all right? Take care of you. Peace out.